Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for three months from now. So three months from now. So yeah, three months from the date that you watch it. Keep in mind, this is kind of like this is a prediction. So it may or may not be for you. I can't read for every single person. Let's just see what comes up for Virgo three months from now. What do we have for Virgo three months from now? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Virgo? You know what I see? I see the page of cups, and I've seen it before I started your video, too. Um, and now I just see it again. So obviously that's a message for you. That's follow your heart and trust your gut. Happy news is arriving. Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings. Could be an admirer or somebody has a crush on you. Um, love, you could be feeling love struck. Something, Page of Cups is a welcome offer of love. It's something that is going to make you feel very, very good. So I don't know. I feel like, yeah, Page of Cups is a message of love coming for you that is going to make you happy. And somebody's going to show you their feelings. Put it that way. So, what do we have for Virgo? truth. Now, this is the judgment card. So you may be making a judgment card as some truth. You may be a judgment card, a judgment call as some sort of truth comes out. Okay. So this is a uh, truth being revealed. Somebody may be accepting responsibility for their actions. This is a card of karma. This is a card of forgiveness as well. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. They may be wanting a reconciliation or wanting you to give them a chance or something like that. The judgment card is also something becoming final. Uh, finally, finally the truth is out. So this is the final truth. Um, judgment is could also be... Uh, something legal okay the end of a legal battle um but let's just see what happens let's see what else we get what do we have for virgo well we can tell that there is going to be the end of something that's absolution it is absolution so something is coming to an end because the truth is coming out there's going to be a final judgment that is being made the truth will come out, okay? What do we have for Virgo? Two of Wands. Now this is the decision being made. The moment of decision. Something about romance. Because a rose is a symbol of romance, of love. Romance is in the air. Making a choice between two. Drum roll. That's what I wanted to say. Drum roll, please. The decision has been made. And that is, so there is a big decision that is going to be made. And it has to do with partnership. A choice between two. Yeah. So there is definitely a choice between two here. You notice we got two here and this is two. Oh, so two. There's definitely a choice. There's, you know, obviously, if, say if you were going to go to court, you know, there's two sides to every story. There's, there's a choice that is going to be made. Okay, this choice is going to be made uh, based on obviously the facts, right? <laughs> you know, some of you may be going to court. Okay, somebody, some of you may be going to court, you may be, there may have, there, there could be something to do with a law, somebody could be filing for divorce, or, I don't know, we definitely have something to do with karma, this is a card of karma, and that is one of karma as well. So these are both court, or justice, or judgment, that's judgment, this is justice, these are both cards of karma, and they're both legalities, so I'm wondering if you guys are going to be dealing with some legalities. You could definitely be dealing with some 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 core issues in the next three months. Okay, truth. Judgment. A decision is being made. A final decision is being made. We're going to take those. Now, 
It's a life-changing decision. Camel. Persevere and you will overcome problems. Pig. Ha! Beware of greed. Ego. Triumph over troubles, obstacles, so you will have victory. Rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. Hmm. Virgo. What the heck is going on here? There's going to be a victory. But. <laughs> whatever. You need to be concentrating on these legal matters, okay? I'm <laughs> just saying. Come on now. Beware. Be really beware. Um, persevere and you will overcome problems. Not going to be easy by the looks of things. It doesn't look like something is going to be easy. I mean, i got to be honest with you. You have two paths that you can go. You have two choices. You have two choices. And I think that there's in, a, in one situation, there's a lack of contentment. There is with that two of wands. Um, you may be looking for some more passion with that rabbit, you know. Hmm. Making a judgment call. Are you ready to be judged as well? Will you be accepted? Mm. Ooh, Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Something to do with passion here. Queen of Wands is very passionate. Very sexy. Very determined. So we have somebody here that is very determined. Very powerful as well. We have a very powerful individual here. We need to get some more cards. See what's going, going on with this person. Oh, we could have a third party situation here. Working together. We have, there's there's two women and one guy. So I'm 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 wondering what the hell is going on here. Um and there's a choice. There's definitely a choice that is going to be made, choice between two. We have one person that is very attractive, very uh, it puts off a very powerful energy, okay? This person is very power, forceful, perhaps, very um, confident. This one is very, very confident in herself, high confidence, high self-esteem, um, over here, we have somebody that is down, looking for help, needing some help. Death. This is the death card. So this is the, this is the, now I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This person is pretty sneaky. I think this per I feel a sneaky energy around this person. I do. This person is sneaky. It feels like they had something to do with it, bringing a person down. I think that this. It's almost like they they did this on purpose. They had something to do with it. Whatever that means. I think this individual. Um, is selfish. I'm sorry to say, yes, this person is powerful, this person is confident, this person is very attractive, but I feel like this person is selfish as well. I feel like we have a very selfish individual that has is part of it. That's what I feel when looking at these cards. This person may seem like they're innocent, but they're not. This person is not innocent. And that's why we have the we have the justice and the truth and the judgment card. I think this person comes across as innocent, but they're not. They have done something. They have done something. It feels like this person has been in some sort of trap. They kept a person trapped or they tra liked to keep a person down or something like that. Now we have the death card, which is an end to that whole situation. The end, perhaps, to this whole thing. Somebody's getting found out. It's like they're being rescued or something like that. Um, things are about to change. The Wheel of Fortune. You could be dealing with a Taurus. could be dealing with a Scorpio. Just happened to notice the Bull. You could be dealing with a Leo. Aquarius, Scorpio, um, this is this positive change is coming. Something is about to change. 
something is about to end. We have a major uh, transformation here. Uh, we have this very powerful individual who, who, who thinks that she's sitting pretty. She thinks that, but I don't think she is. I just feel it very strongly. She's, and she's very strong. She's very dominant. This one, she feels like she's dominant. Okay, she thinks that she's dominant. She thinks she's the queen of all queens. That's what she thinks. And she's done something. That's what I see on this card. And I'm not going by the typical meaning of the card. I'm taking it to going by my intuition here. I feel like I feel like this person right here had something to do with with uh, bringing this person down and and putting them in a the situation that they were in. This one had something to do with it. You know. But but this is something that is about to change. This is going to come to an end. This whole situation is going to come to an end. I feel like this person is going to get caught. Oh, 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 this is the other woman. This is another woman right here. This is another woman. Now, this is the lover's reverse. This is this is a contract. This is a contract. Um, not compatible. I don't know if somebody has been... And it's funny too much concern with sexual matters. I wonder if somebody's been having sex with another woman, you know, or another person. Okay? And they get caught. They get caught. And they didn't care. They didn't care that they didn't care that you were in a relationship or they didn't care that you were um tied down. They didn't care. Now the truth is going to come out. Okay? And you're going to be making a decision as to whether you want to stay or want to go. That's what I see. That's what I feel like this is. Now, the lovers reversed is, and it is about passion. We were talking about passion earlier. Um, it feels like somebody gets caught. Because if you notice, there's three. I know we got a third party situation here. We got one, two, three here. And then we got somebody watching back here. So there's something going on. Um, I don't know if that's going to focus or not. Yep, see? There's somebody watching. Somebody's going to get caught. Um, and it feels like they get caught in the act. I don't know if that's the case, but they, some sort of truth comes out. Oh, I think there's going to be a separation. It's time for a change. This is a, there's somebody's in a, like a passionless relationship. Okay. They are. And they, maybe they've been seeking outside of the relationship and they get caught. Ah, all is not as it seems. This is the moon. If somebody's been hiding, they've been hiding behind the shadow and they've been getting away with it. But that's all about to change with the Wheel of Fortune. Something is definitely about to change. We have a lot of karma here. Okay, Wheel of Fortune is a karma card as well. Karmic contract as well. So anyway, I feel like though there are some sort of hidden forces that are going to bring about a change and they are going to cause a partnership to end that isn't no longer meant to be it's not meant to be okay it's not meant to be yeah whatever um could be dealing with a pisces could be dealing with a gemini could be dealing with a scorpio but i already named the other side signs we have leo taurus scorpio aquarius aries leo sagittarius it feels like the other person the third party is a Aries Leo Sagittarius, the third party. That's what I feel like the third party is. But that third party situation is about to come to an end. Three of Cups reverse, there's no doubt about it. There's going to be parting ways of a third party situation. Somebody's, some, there is. There is. I feel like there was an enemy that was disguised as a friend. I knew it. I knew it. And you may be saying that too. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Or the person that you're dealing with, somebody is going to be saying that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. My, and, it. and I believe it. I do. I believe it. I think that your intuition is going to tell you that there's something fishy going on with the, one of your so-called friends. And it absolutely is something fishy. So I think that uh, this person gets gets caught in the act or something comes out, some sort of truth gets revealed that uh, 
it may be a little shocking. It may be a sh little shocking. This is going to show, be shown. It's gonna, it's gonna be put right on the surface. It is. I'm telling you what. This is, this is. Uh, it feels like we have this. This is the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but it doesn't have to be. This is a very feeling person. A very. Um, caring looking for love looking for romance this guy is looking for love and he may have been looking in a third party situation okay he's looking for love he's looking for attention and this one will shower him with attention because she's so needy she needs attention so i think we have somebody here that has been doing something behind the scenes in the dark right um, and they are about to get caught. And I think, I think they are. I think they're going to get caught. Um, this, this right here, this, this King of Cups is, um, he may decide to turn his back. Okay. He may, because it looks like he is, it looks like he's about to, uh, maybe, maybe he, he could even be the one that's, that's being cheated on. Okay. There's some sort of cheating going on here. I'm 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 damn positive. Somebody is cheating on somebody and I think that this somebody's going to get found out and the shit is going to hit the fan. Somebody bit off more than they can chew. This guy is gonna. This guy is gonna cause an uproar. He's gonna cause chaos. He's gonna. He's gonna flip this shit right upside down. He is too. This one thinks she's got it in the bag. She thinks that she's all coy and cunning, and she's never gonna get caught. Well, she is gonna get caught. She's jealous as hell. Very jealous. So there is going to be a change. There's going to be a big change. It is. It is. This whole deceptive situation is about to come to an end. Somebody has been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. And the truth is about to come out. And it does have to do with the third party situation. Somebody's been cheating. And there is a such thing as emotional cheating emotional cheating is when you're you're conversing with somebody with you know you you but you're married to somebody else or committed to somebody else that's called emotional cheating but i think there's definitely there's like if it's not sexting it is actually having sex okay it's it's a very sexual situation right here it absolutely is it is there's no doubt about it so I think that uh, some sort of truth is going to come out, and uh, oh, this is what, like, like I said, drum roll, please. Uh, yeah. So somebody bit off more than they can chew, and it's about to be shown. So if somebody has been cheating and they think they're getting away with it, I'm here to tell you, you ain't getting away with it, not for long. Um, things are about to change, and it's going to happen all of a sudden. Uh, you may think that you're safe. <laughs> you're not. You're not. You may think that you're sneaky. Somebody thinks that they're sneaky. They think that they are so smart. So I'm so powerful. I'm so cunning. Ha 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 ha. No. No. You ain't that smart. That's. I mean, whoever that person is up there that thinks that, you know, they're getting away with it. Uh-uh. No, sir. Not going to happen. Um, it's all going to come to an end. It is absolutely all going to come to an end. You knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It's a high priestess. I knew it. You knew this was happening. You knew that this is your intuition told you. Somebody's gut told them beforehand. And what they thought they knew, they knew. And the truth is about the secret is about to be revealed. So be prepared for that. Be prepared for a secret to be revealed in regards to somebody cheating. We have a karmic contract that is about to end because somebody's getting caught. Good luck.